All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back on Lake Oroville. Uh, we're launched out of Lion Saddle again. Uh, happy Father's Day to all of your fathers out there. Uh, should be a good weekend. Hopefully you get to do something fun with the family or maybe you get out and even do some fishing. So uh, we got eight rods with us today. We've got an underspin tied on. We've got a jig tied on, um, a worm, a Sanko, um, Let's see what else. A Carolina rig. Uh, let's look. Looks like a crankbait. A man bear pig, which has been working real well. And uh, I'm not sure if it said a drop shot, but a drop shot. So we're gonna go fish the backside of Lime Saddle, uh, back into this uh, uh, back area here where normally you can't fish because the water's too too low. Uh, and we're just gonna go see what we can find. So uh, hopefully we catch some. All right, let's go.
go, a little Oroville bass, spotted bass, 14 inches long maybe. Let's go back. back to I didn't even feel that thing bite. a better one. Looks like the hazard on shad is the preferred bait of choice.
Good old link. Well, we had a pretty decent day out in Orville. I ended up catching nine or 10 fish overall. Nothing huge between 10 and 14 inches. Um, all of them were on the drop shot. Um, much different than it was three or four weeks ago when I was out there where the fish were in the trees. Uh, they were fairly shallow. Uh, this week they were in 20 feet of water and, uh, and down deep. So. It was, you know, that's just spotted bass. They're all over the place. They change real quick. They're hard, they can be hard to figure out. Once you figure them out, you got them. But uh, it's just can be difficult to figure out if they're deep or shallow or where they're at. Um, like I said, I caught the majority of my fish on this little bait right there. That is the Hazadon Shad by Omega Bass. It is a great drop shot bait um, that comes in many different colors. Uh, that one is the Disco Shad. Uh, it can, it's, it's just a great overall bait. Um, I also wanted to take my, the kayak for a long trip. Uh, I ended up going five miles back to the, to the, where the lake comes into, uh, the river comes into the lake and, uh, I ran full speed. Uh, and then when I finished, I took, you know, obviously five miles back at maximum speed against the wind. And, uh, I only used 20% of my battery which was, uh, I was pretty impressed with. Um, so good news is, is I got more battery than I'm gonna need. Uh, and uh, I, th I can go 20 plus miles in a day if I had to, and I still wouldn't run out of batteries. So that's pretty impressive. The Z-Pro battery is, uh, is a heck of a battery. Um, it's long lasting, it's a great price, and uh, overall it's just fantastic. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you like, please like and subscribe. Please add any comments if you had any. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.